assalamu alaikum hello my dear students in this lecture we will discuss about the if functions average and count if basically these are very important functions and formulas that we normally use in different excel sheets and other mathematical calculations in excel sheet let's have a practice about this listen and watch all the video from zero to end for example we take here a value of result for example percentage for example here percentage of 75 and 90 in next column we want to calculate the result okay i just highlighted the cell for making it prominent these are the result values i want result we can get the result on the basis of a criteria so note down here about a criteria what is the criteria for getting passing marks uh, criteria is if percentage is greater than or equal to 50 then this is pass otherwise fail this is criteria so what is syntax syntax mean the writing method of if condition is equal to if that is start first of all here will be condition okay then value of x and value of y this is basically syntax for getting result i will apply this syntax in this cell is equal to if bracket start if b b3 is greater than or equal to 50 this is condition that we have in syntax condition this is condition type here comma then quotation marks the value of x that is pass mean you will type here the positive value comma then negative value x consider the positive value that will qualify in the condition and y is basically negative mean false no nothing fail these will be consider in or type in y y condition Uh, y quotation cells. Just enter. It will show you the pass. Very simple. Again, you want to edit. Press F2. It will show you the cursor. For getting others, there is no need to type again and again. Just to click here and drag. It will show you the result. Pass, pass, pass. Fail because it's less than 50. Less than 50. Pass and pass. Very simple. This is if condition. If condition. Condition that is single if condition. if i want to get the grade grade requires basically <coughs> multiple if conditions multiple if condition what is multiple if condition again and again you will have to type the if what is criteria of that if percentage is greater than or equal to 90 then a plus greater than or equal to 90 then a plus greater than or equal to 70 then a greater than or equal to 50 then b less than 50 it's c this is criteria for getting grades okay. keep it in view before you type here grade grade will be on the basis of percentage click here is equal to if bracket start if b3 is greater than or equal to 90 comma then this is a plus 
it's our first calculation that we have done a greater than or equal to 90 then a plus again comma and start again with if not with the is equal to sign if b3 greater than or equal to 70 then a comma if b3 greater than or equal to 50 it's b and else c so close the brackets that how many you have opened one two and three one two three just enter it will show you the a grade very simple control c control v or just to drag it's a plus because it's nine more than 90. press f2 to recheck if b3 greater than equal to 90 then a plus if b3 greater than equal to 70 then a if b3 get greater than equal to 50 then b else c just enter these are the basically if condition formulas that we normally use in result result cards. You can also use this result sheet in salary sheets and other other uh, calculation sheets where you have a condition. On the basis of condition, you want to get the values. Then you can type an if condition formulas. For example, I want to get here also count. I mean, I want to count how many students that got more than 50% marks. So here we will, we will apply the count if formula is equal to count if bracket start first of all asking the range range meaning there will be a subject range just enter here the cell addresses insert sheet column just select the three insert sheet column again insert sheet column it's a subject of math english urdu I want to type it percentage value formula is equal to is equal to sum like star just to get the basically total total marks. First of all get the total marks insert sheet column. There is obtain marks. Sum obtain what is obtain marks? B3 colon E3. These are obtained marks of this range. What is total marks? Total marks is 400. Me. For example, math has 150 marks. Room got 140. Uh, 130. The total marks are 450. 100, 100, 100, 100 and 150. Total 450 marks. Copy paste. Copy paste. This is basically range of the 10 marks. So how to get the count? How to get the count? Is equal to count. Let us start. Count it. Let us start. First of all, give the range. Range is uh, between B3 colon E3. It's a range comma. And what's the criteria? The criteria always will type in the quotation marks. Criteria, criteria is uh, how many marks are less than or equal to 50. Quotation marks close and bracket close. Just enter. It will show you the one value that is less than or equal to 50. Just copy paste and drag. Type here another values. Just drag and drop. values which are less than or equal to if I want to count here average 
which is equal to average like every for average you will type is equal to average not sum just type in the average b3 colon e3 it's average of the subjects average of the subjects that is 75 23 this one you should move this these values before result and grade insert sheet column insert sheet column just select control x and control v just click here train formula obtain marks percentage count average pass and grade so student this is basically uh, basic formulas for the if condition for the grade for the result for the average for count if for getting a result sheet in next lectures i will also tell you how to make a complete result sheet with the heading with the margin which are print page layout etc just i uh, this lecture was just for giving you the formulas only not uh, i will not concentrating in this uh, lecture about the, the about the uh, format we are just discussing here about the method about the functions about the formulas i think you got it huh thank you very much